Today on our 2011 Buick Enclave, we're going to do a test fit on the Swagman Titan. This is a tilting and folding four bike rack. They've designed it for use with inch and a quarter or two inch hitches. The part number on it is S63410. To begin our test fit, we'll slide the shank of the rack right into the receiver tube of our hitch. Now as we do this, we'll slide it in far enough so that our threaded hole lines up with our hitch pin hole. We're then going to slide in our anti-rattle bolt. Once we have it hand tight, you can see still some movement and some play in our rack. So we'll use our wrench. We're going to tighten that bolt down. That draws the shank of the rack over against the receiver tube. As you can see, once it's tight, we've got no movement or play coming from our joint. We're now going to take the provided pair, just slide it in the other end of the bolt. Looks like the rack's going to offer us about 18 and 3 quarters of an inch worth of ground clearance. At its closest point to the rear of our vehicle, it's going to be about 4 inches away. And overall, we've added about 17 and a half inches to the length of the Buick. The black lever that's located here in the front will allow us to tilt the rack out and away from our vehicle. This is going to allow us the room to open our hatch and get into our cargo area. We'll bring that back up into its upright position until our lever goes back down into its original position. We'll then lift up on the black lever here at the top. This one allows us to swing our dual cradle arms out and into position. Now with the arms extended, we've added about 12, 39 inches. We've added about 39 inches to the length of the vehicle. To load up our bike, it's as easy as undoing the four cradle straps that are located on our first set here. Then we'll grab the bike. We'll place it up into our cradles. And now we'll go through and secure it with our straps. Just like that, our bike's all loaded up and we're ready to hit the road. Now that we've been able to take a close look at the Swagman Titan, how it fits onto and how it's going to work with our 2011 Buick Enclave, let's see how that very same rack performed when they had it out on our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 